Hey, good morning everybody. We got a fun project today. We're gonna run some electrical for some lighting and power tools. Jen's not with me today. She actually had to run downstate to pick up a power station from Blue Eddy, the AC300 and the B300. Uh, it's gonna be our full-time pole barn electrical supply. Hang out with me for a few minutes here. I'm gonna run electrical and lighting in the pole barn and then when Jen gets here we'll hook everything up for you guys and then we'll have a complete workshop with electrical All right guys, it's an exciting day. Jen got back up here late last night and went downstate and got us a new uh, power station from Blue Eddy, the AC300 and the B300 and a 400 watt solar panel. Fancy stuff, guys. Kind of a game changer here and we're gonna use the AC300 for powering the barn. You get those. That bad actually. I thought you figured I thought they would be like unmanageable. Alright. Holy cow. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> this cool little program I just learned about that Blue Eddie does called LAF L-A-A-F. And they are trying to give one million African families lights that's kind of cool it's something we all take for granted so it's cool that they're trying to help out those way less fortunate than us holy cannoli holds up four times So there's 35, 45, and 55. No, 35 degrees. There we go, guys. Pretty fancy. 420 watts. guys so here's our connecting cable uh, the AC 300 has no battery capacity in it it's all in the battery expandable battery pack which is kind of cool because you could expand this I saw it connected with like four let's plug it into the you take off the protective rubber plug unlock the unit and then you could clip it in locked in nice and tight there 
we go. When we opened the box to the battery, the B300, it came with this charging cable. Two MC4s and a solar plug here. If you want to directly charge the battery itself without the AC300, you could put 12 to 60 volts and up to 10 amps directly into the battery. Now if we want to boost up and use more voltage and more wattage, uh, we have to run it through these plugs here and then it'll transfer it to the battery. And then these cables are what come with the AC300. Uh, so you could charge it through the unit itself, probably monitor it better. So here's our AC plug if we want to charge it with AC. And do up to 120 volts and 30 amps. And there is solar. So on the DC input, you could do 12 volts up to 150 volts direct current. You could run it on the portable solar panel or we could hook it up to our array or both if the voltages are proper tolerances. And we're only using the, the briefcase right now. So the portable solar panel is hooked up to our MC4 connectors. And we just gotta plug it right into the unit here. See what kind of voltage we're getting. Probably not much because it's a cloudy day and it's gonna rain for the next week. So <laughs> we might be charging this, run the generator for an hour just to run it. I have once every two to three months I run the generator just so it doesn't get, you know gunked up and stuff so maybe we'll do that and we'll charge this unit show you how fast it can charge it it's already at 62 percent straight from the factory it's touch screen pretty cool huh oh, it'll display that's a really nice feature i really like that instead of having to hit the button all the time to yeah. so what are we getting we're getting pv wattage look at that 73 74 volts or 74 watts that's pretty good considering it's a really cloudy day <laughs> there's no sunshine so it's at 62 percent let's get this unit charged up and then we'll go take it to the pole barn All right guys, I have the AC300 and the B300 all hooked up and set up in the workshop. Uh, for right now, I just have that battery sitting on that tote. I'll build it a little box out of wood uh, at a later time, but I kind of want to see if this is the way I want it permanently set up. She's just in time for the grand reveal. I see all my lights go twinkle twinkle. Yeah. All right. So everything on this unit, I guess, is all touch screen. There's no manual buttons on anything other than the power up button. So all I have to do here is hit the AC on button and it asks me if I want it on. I say yes, on. And then power goes to buy out. Whoa, pretty fancy, Very huh? Nice. So let's see how much wattage every light in the pole barn is drawing. It'd be like 25, 20 watts a piece or something. So we got six of them. So 20 watts, 20 watts, and then 80 watts up there. We'll check it out. We'll show it to you tonight, guys. But it'll be really, really cool to have the uh, AC300 right here for all my power tool needs. And then this winter, when it's dark at 5 o'clock, we don't have to stop working. We can come out here and work for a while. Just need to get a heater in here. I'm super excited. That's an all-in-one, like, ready-to-go system.
All right, guys, don't forget, just because we're using the AC300 and B300 as pole barn power doesn't mean that it doesn't serve you well as a home backup emergency system. If you were to have a power outage during a storm, with the six 20 amp, 120 volt plugs, you could plug in all your home appliances. If 20 amps isn't enough, you could jump up to the 30 amp RV style plug right here. This is actually how we run our cabin is on a 30 amp plug. That makes things very versatile and I could very easily use this unit to run the whole cabin for a couple days. Something I found I really like. The B300 comes with a car port or cigarette plug, 12 volt, a USB-C 100 watt quick charging port right here, and a USB-A 18 watt. We can run any DC device uh, within these tolerances. DC output up here, 12 volt. 10 amp we have a 24 volt plug here uh, this is something that you don't see on many units so that's nice to have very versatile so over here we have more usba ports 18 watt by two we got two of them we have two usbas that are 5 volt 3 amp and then we have our fast charge USB C port right here so another great thing about the AC300 is the display. All touch screen, easy to turn the unit on and off, both AC and DC power. It gives you the battery status right here in the front. It tells you your grid wattage, your AC load, your DC load, and your solar input. Very easy to use. Also, you could check your settings, uh, battery status, and the menus on the side. And then don't forget the wireless charging decks on top. Charging your phone with the wireless charging port is not something I do very often, but since I had this out in the pole barn, it's really nice to actually just set your phone up there, let it charge, and you can listen to music or podcast, and then it's also charging at the same time. So that's a really nice option. It's got dual uh, wireless charging ports right there on top, or pads. So here's our AC input. We can put up to 30 amps of AC in here and charge the unit very quickly. Here's our DC port for our solar, if we'd like to do it that way. And we have a communication interface here if we connect multiple units together. And don't forget your XT90 solar port here. We could put up to 10 amps into that also, and, and we could charge the B300 directly. It's a nice peace of mind having a backup unit like the AC300, B300 combo. Uh, not only could we run the fridge, we could very easily run the coffee maker, an air fryer. Uh, we've been trying this bad boy out. It draws about 1100 watts, could take care of you, no problem. We're super excited to have it around here. It should help us through the winter, not only in the barn, but if we have any issues here in the cabin or solar shed issue, uh, we could use this unit to run our whole cabin. Thanks guys for hanging out with us. Uh, let's get back out to the barn. All right guys, uh, the, the temperatures have really dropped here in Michigan in the last week. Fire is ripping and roaring. It's 31 degrees out and I'm gonna go get some firewood. While we're out here, I figured I'd take the opportunity to show you my new workshop. Motion activated light. Look. AC on. Let there be light. Ooh. Pretty cool, huh, guys? All the power we need for the workshop. We even picked up an extra fridge. Uh, hunting season's among us, and I thought, you know what? I found a great deal on this little fridge. Just in case we need it, uh, it's there. We're going to hook up some solar panels to this system eventually, and we'll have constant power out here in the pole barn. So about 120 watts of work lights light this place up like a Christmas tree. So, And thanks to the Blue Eddy, we can... Uh, you know, carry on with projects and then I have to quit at 5 o'clock when it gets dark. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty blessed and pretty fortunate to have uh, great sponsors and great uh, subscribers and friends like you guys to help support this uh, little adventure. So, uh, Blue Eddie's not only signing this unit, but helping keep projects funded. And we appreciate them for doing so. Lots of stored energy and... Uh, gonna help us do a lot around here at the off-grid property.
Another cool thing I just thought of, all these chargers were in my solar shed and it was a pain in the butt. They were always in the way, going in and out of there to charge stuff. So now I can charge all my battery power tools in here. Set up a nice little workshop, probably right up here. Uh, exciting stuff. Kind of been roughing it for the last couple years, just making do, and now things are finally getting nice. Pretty happy. Now I just need to get a door. A front door. Front door is on the pole barn. <laughs> All right guys, let's do a little demonstration of what the Blue Eddy AC300 and B300 combo is capable of. We have pretty much every power tool that I have in the pole barn workshop hooked up. Plus an extra fridge, plus all the lighting for the pole barn. So right now with the fridge and the lighting, we're drawing 380 watts. So let's uh, turn a few things on. Oh, we got the air compressor here too. We'll plug that in. Make sure everything runs everything. We'll see how much it can run all at once. Let's start with the big boy. Why mess around? All right, we're running lights, refrigerator, table saw, circular saw, and chop saw. And it was 2,400 watts continuous. I saw it surge up to 3,600 watts, so that 6,000 watt surge obviously does its job. The only thing I didn't hook up is the air compressor. Alright guys, so it ran the air compressor. I had the table saw, chop saw going. It was at 2600, 2700 watts. And when I kicked on the uh, circulating saw, it, it tripped out because it went over 3000 watts. So that circulating saw alone is 800 watts. So that took me over my 3000 watt uh, inverter capacity. I saw it surge up to 3600 a couple times because when tools start up, they surge. That uh, circular saw was actually surging 2,000 watts when it first started and once it's running it went all the way down to 800. So this will run everything in my pole barn uh, all at once pretty much. Very capable. The alarm went off that it overprotected, and then after like uh, just a couple seconds it reset and turned everything back on. Didn't even fault out with any manual breakers or anything like that. It just obviously the, the system in it uh, is smart enough to know to turn everything off. So if you have a workshop or something that you need to have a high draw power or maybe you are a traveling nomad or in, a, in an RV. People ask that have like a food truck or like a portable workshop set up at a trailer, say they go to work sites and they don't want to run a generator. A unit like the AC300 and the B300 would uh, definitely take care of you. Quiet, uh, pollution free, fuel free, noise free, over 3000 watt hours of Life PO4 batteries. So guys, an end note, the AC300 and B300 from Bluetti can charge at 2400 watts with solar, 1800 watts with an AC plug or generator if you need it. That'll charge your unit in around two hours. Bluetti even thought ahead and you could hook up your larger solar array that's uh, over 150 volts. They have a step down module that you could connect to the unit if you'd like to use your large solar array to charge it as well. 
Also, another thing that we found we like is the Blue Eddy AC300 has a nice app. Uh, you can monitor everything, turn things on and off through that app, all from your phone. So if you stick with the single AC300, you could put up to four batteries in it and get over 12,000 watt hours of life PO4 battery life. Or if you need more power for your home, you can get a second AC300 and run them in split phase and have up to eight B300s all at once, giving you over 24,000 watt hours of capacity. Another awesome thing is it's a split unit. So all the battery capacity is put into the B300 and all the brains, inverters, and chargers are in the AC300 portion. With that split up like that, it's very portable. You can carry each unit at once and you're not overwhelmed with an extra heavy unit. Blue Eddy's really stepped up, guys. They give you a four year full warranty with the AC300 and the B300 unit. So if you guys have been here a while, you know the first couple years of building the cabin, we used the gas generator a lot. I used it for all my power tools uh, prior to having any solar set up here. So now with a unit like the AC300, you can eliminate the pollution, the need for gas consumption, so that saves you money. You can also avoid the noise. When you're off grid and you're up in the woods, last thing that you really wanna listen to is a loud, noisy generator running all the time. So I'm happy to have a more eco-friendly noise friendly environmentally friendly unit like the ac300 from blue eddy so jen and i would really like to thank blue eddy for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel without these videos and sponsors we cannot keep doing what we're doing here so thank you very much blue eddy and thank you guys for supporting us with your views and for checking out the links for the blue eddy ac300 below they're in the description box and the first pinned comment there's some great deals going on with them guys a year, couple years ago, these units were close to double the price. The prices have really come down on them. Now you can buy an all-in-one system like this uh, at an affordable price. And it makes it a very good option for everyone. So we're really excited to have this unit. It's going to extend our working time into the evening. Now that the days are getting shorter, we don't have to quit at dark. Come out here to the workshop and keep working on stuff. Have a nice little setup so we can uh, keep getting projects done here around the property and around the off-grid cabin. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We appreciate you and best wishes.